This video ends when we've made $200 in pure profit together because a lot of people overcomplicate things when it comes to starting the process of selling on Amazon. So let's jump in and make it as simple as possible. To find your next profitable product or even your very first profitable product on Amazon, you need two things. Number one is SellerAmp. This is the tool that we're gonna use to source tons of profitable items and figure out our actual profit. And the second thing we need is Keepa. These are both $20 a month and they're all you need to find profitable products to sell on Amazon. This is all I use to source millions of dollars every year to sell on Amazon. So Keepa it's super simple and let's use these two tools to find tons of winning products and like i said this video is going to be over when we make 200 dollars in pure profit together so to find some of this profit what you want to do is just go ahead and pull up a listing of pretty much any listing on amazon that is being sold by lots of third-party sellers so you can see on here there's anywhere from like 10 to 20 third-party sellers and when i check out the feedback of these storefronts on seller amp you can see some of these storefronts have 20 stars four stars two stars so these are very beginner friendly products and that's going to be a good starting point because the chances are they probably bought this from like the Gap website or at the very least, lots of other products in these storefronts are going to be bought from other big major websites. So let's dive in and see how long it takes us to make $200 in profit together. So here's the item we started from. And as we're going through here, I'm looking at a couple things. So I want to figure out, is this max cost reasonable? So am I going to be able to buy it for that cost or less? If so, then I make my ideal profit that I've entered into seller up here. And then I'm also looking to see how fast does this item sell, right? So usually I'm looking for things that sell at least 30 times a month or so to be worth my time unless it's really profitable then sometimes i'll take a shot this is pretty close and i'm not sure maybe i can get that for 13 bucks obviously not buying that for negative one dollar probably not buying that for a dollar 65 and the reason why some of these are really low is because that's including your shipping cost of goods all that good stuff and it's going to be your true profit you need to buy it for this cost to actually make money after it's all said and done but let's just go ahead and quickly check out the info on these pants here and i think i might have seen these a while back and these might actually be good just different size something like that definitely a slower seller so if these are profitable we'll only buy a few units and add that to our profit total here. Well, let's go ahead and check out the stats here. So I can see this is historically, it's been selling around like 40 bucks. Recently, it's down to 30 bucks or so. And we're buying these for, what is it, 12 bucks? Yeah, so these are profitable without any kind of extra discount methods, any extra profit boosters, anything like that. It only sells about 29 times a month. So I'm gonna be pretty conservative in terms of how many we'd want to buy for the sake of the video, for the sake of the challenge. So I'm gonna say we probably pick up five pairs of those. Let's just round down to 25 bucks in profit right there. But you can see how it works, right? So we're able to find and in this case, the brand's website directly was selling these for 12 bucks. On Amazon, these are going for 30-ish dollars and we can go ahead and buy those and make some money flipping these on Amazon. So let's go ahead and keep chugging along here. By the way, 32 Degrees is a brand that's gonna be auto ungated for a lot of you guys. If you've looked into selling on Amazon before, a lot of name brands require you to submit an invoice from any legit website, any legit distributor, that kind of thing. Some don't even make you do that though. And 32 Degrees for a lot of you guys seen is an auto ungated brand. So that's one of those good things to check out there. And let's see, so no reason to Google a lot of these things. Let's see, so Yankee candle if we can get these for 11.32 for three of them we're gonna be making some money let's see what are these coming up at these are coming up at 480 on sale let's see yeah not seeing any extra layer of discount or anything like that let's check it out and see if there's any like coupons we can get on top of that one good thing to take advantage of there's a free chrome extension called capital one shopping it's just a free way to check for some extra discount codes and let's see we can also get 15 percent on maybe everything sometimes it'll say if it uh, excludes things that are already on a discount so i'm seeing lots of kind of random things here. I think we would need this pretty cheap though for this to be actually profitable. Let's do some quick math and sell it to figure out if that's true though. So going in here, 480 and we have three of these. So let's do times three. So yeah, even if we have a 15% code, it's not going to be quite profitable enough. So I'm not going to go through the effort of figuring out if we do or not. Let's see if we can get these for 1735, 7334. Those are going to be nice and profitable. Let's see, what are these showing up at? Right now they're selling for 33 bucks and these are actually for sale for 450 at the website. So let's see, doing some rough math. I think that might be profitable. So 450 times four right there. And so the ROI is really close. Let's see. We can see the buy box has been at like 34 bucks for a while as well. So if we're able to sell at 34, that is even better. Let's see. Historically, it's a little bit cheap. Actually, historically, it's been a lot more expensive. So that's interesting. Sometimes with like scents, you'll notice that certain seasons are a little bit better too. So let's see. Is it normal that every spring this scent gets more expensive? If so, I'm going to have no problem checking this out. So let's see. Like this past March, it went crazy during the spring, summer months. Let's see. Previous spring summer area let's see it was going for let's see so like 35 sales rank didn't do too much so usually i'm looking for the sales rank to massively dip down and drive prices up basically in this case i can see it got really popular for no reason out of the blue let me know if you'd pick some of these up here really close on roi and since that price has been very consistent recently let's see yeah hopping for 34 bucks or so i might go ahead and pick up like five units of these if it was a true 30 percent roi i'd probably add a whole lot more but we can go ahead and add 25 bucks and running profit to the totals so we're up to about 50 bucks there 
let's see not buying those for a dollar 47 so we'd have to get those for a dollar 50 each let's see some of this could be decent what are these showing up at we need them pretty cheap let's see like four bucks yeah we needed them a lot cheaper than that no worries let's see trash bags let's see if we can get these trash bags if you're like seven bucks or so one thing i do notice on these charts down here you see how the price has been massively decreasing lately so you can see that orange price line on seller amp here that's showing me that it probably used to be profitable up at 23 and now it's down to 20 or so let's see if that is correct though let's see so 980 948 10 bucks yeah we need to buy those for seven so that's not going to be too close there let's see we do have some more of these and the max cost on these is pretty high it's right around the same price so let's see if any of these are consistently profitable on amazon let's see yeah so four of these if this is the same price going for yeah so 450 on the website and how consistent is that price so the price has been going up a lot recently so 450 times four right there really close was it more expensive more recently i don't like this as much as that first kind of scent item we were looking at because you see how the price has pretty much always been way cheaper previously it dipped down for a second but normally it was like at the price where we wanted to sell it that's a little bit too risky for my taste let's see let's zoom out here so this is a little bit better you see how it was higher and pretty consistently around 30 bucks now it's been selling for 33 or so not sure if it's going to be quite profitable enough let's see so four bucks right there uh, you have five bucks this is actually a four pack by the way i see the title says one count but there's a sticker that says four pack so you have some pretty unhappy customers it also says number of items four so always just err on the side of putting yourself in the customer's shoes just because it's a very borderline but just for the sake of the challenge i'm going to find something a little better for us to dig into there and let's see so checking out some more of the items here see a lot of these are like three bucks four bucks in this case i might go ahead and check out a different storefront right so we've gone ahead and, and looked through a lot of items that particular store was selling and we're up to about 50 bucks in profit and let's, let's see what else we can find here so let's keep digging through here and by the way if you guys want to follow along and source lots of products together make sure you grab a two-week free trial of seller amp down below so this seller is selling honestly a good amount of more auto elongated brands and just obviously like very beginner friendly brands like great value for example we know that all the great value branded products they have to be buying these from walmart directly that's the only place you can buy great value there's no wholesalers for great value anything like that this would be interesting to just do a quick check here i'm seeing a lot of these don't sell super fast at all see, so yeah unknown sales a lot of these when it says unknown it's just a data glitch on amazon's end those still can sell pretty well but usually i'm looking for the price to move around a little bit switch it between different sellers you can see for example like this right here you see how the price is hopping all over the place that shows me that the sales on that listing were actually changing to different hands and that kind of thing so i just wasn't seeing that on that listing but let's see we got some pants right here let's check these out. i know cuddle duds is also an auto ungated brand for a lot of you guys another one is to be on the lookout for so let's see the black versions right here what are these going for we need to buy these for right around 20 bucks and if we can get them for let's see yeah right around at 20 bucks these are gonna be profitable let's see software and not selling insanely fast but i'm still definitely curious on these check it out here some of these at belk for 15 maybe at macy's maybe at kohl's could have them just seeing a lot of different sizes and colors that kind of thing let's see so they've only got the evergreens on that one see these are charcoal and there's also the regular black so software okay cool so these are 20 or about like 21 bucks 21 25 and then over here we need to buy them for like right around 20 bucks so 21 25 but we can actually make these profitable so we can buy a discounted gift card from macy's what was that yeah i think it was from macy's right yeah macy's and let's see what kind of discounts can we get so macy's see so we're actually gonna be able to get 12 percent off so this is basically just buying discounted money this is really big for increasing your profit margins and let's see so we can buy 200 dollars gift card for 176 bucks basically get a 12 percent discount on our cost of goods sold probably gonna make this profitable so we can do times 0.88 or we can subtract 12 percent whatever makes more sense to you and yeah so these are gonna be pretty interesting so right now the price is like 39 bucks it was like 35 so what happens if it goes back to 36 we make 470 something like that price has been pretty often around like 45 bucks so usually i wouldn't want to take a risk on things that are like temporarily more expensive you can see it's hopping up the price hopping up to 39 bucks and that's even hopping up to an fbm seller usually it's harder for fbm sellers to charge like higher prices like that so that shows me that you shouldn't really have any problem selling this i'm gonna say that this is a 39 dollar item even though i bet we can probably wait a second and sell these for 45 and just because it's not the fastest seller in the world by any means let's go ahead and pick up five of those just to again keep being fair to ourselves here so five times seven so it's another 35 bucks in profit we can add that down in the, the bottom right corner and let's keep chugging along here i know we had some of these other ones as well let's see so yeah they had these like grayish ones here let's see if these grayish ones are profitable and a lot of times with like clothes and stuff there'll be other variations that we can source off of this is actually just specifically the black large like i bet yeah so this is a good example you see how this has a ton of ratings sells super well and there's a bunch of different sizes and colors on here so if we find one on here we're probably gonna be able to turn this into multiple good listings so let's see so fleece wear is that what we're looking at okay cool let's see so soft right there and so these would be like 17 bucks yeah so checking 
these out right here. I can see what are these are 17 bucks. Let's make sure are these the same thing? I know they're saying slightly different things, but they're literally using the same exact picture. Yeah, let's do a little bit of digging on these. So go variations. And I know worst case we could get them here for 21 plus that discounted gift card. So what we can do down here now that we know we have something to dig deeper on, let's filter down to just specifically this charcoal color that we've been sourcing. And we can see what are the most expensive sizes of it. So the most expensive is like 37 bucks. So if we buy it from Macy's, those are like 19 or so. So those wouldn't be super interesting. But since we have these from JCPenney, so we have these the mediums right here. So from JCPenney, we have, let's see, like the, uh, yeah, we have the mediums, XL and extra small. Let's see. So medium is actually the one we're looking at here. Let's see, 37 bucks. And Cuddle Duds, by the way, is another auto ungated brand for some of you guys. So 37, we're in these for 17 bucks. So that's nice and profitable. And we can make these even better. So let's go to JCPenney and we can get 16% off at JCPenney. So that's pretty good. So we're able to buy a 16% off discounted gift card. Pop back over here. So let's do minus 16% in our cost right there. So that's actually $10 profit per unit. And this actually sells pretty well too. It's a medium, nice common color on a fast selling listing. Probably go ahead and pick up 10 of these. So that's another 100 bucks in profit on this listing right here. And we also had the, what else did we have inside us? We had the extra large Heather charcoal. Let's see. Yeah. These are slightly like darker though. So this would be what we actually have. So large and then another extra large down here was 32. So if we buy those for 32, we're getting it for 17 with that discounted gift card or buying those for so like a $4 profit. So for women's clothes and like higher return items, usually I don't want to look at a 30% ROI. I'll buy 30 in like lots of different niches, that kind of thing, but not for women's clothing, most likely. So go ahead and keep on chugging along here. See what else we can find. Let's see, so some, some jockey right there. Let's see. I've never, I don't know if I've ever come across this brand before. Let's get curious, see what we can find. Let's pull over crew neck. I can see these, if we can get these three underwear for 18 bucks, which seems pretty reasonable, but we'd be able to find some profit. Let's see. Maybe these are more expensive than I thought though. Let's see, so nine inch. Okay. It's just that particular color that is cheap today. Interesting. So those are a little bit more expensive than I would have expected there. This is 12 bucks though. And I think our max cost was around there. Yeah. $12 max cost. Let's see. Yeah. It's been hanging around the like $25 price point though. So that last one, I don't see as much kind of price hopping up as before. Let's see. So what if we can get this for 1042, we're going to be profitable. What are these? These are 13 bucks crew neck sweatshirt. Let's see. Are there any variations on here that are expensive? And then we can also check and see if there is a discounted gift card. So Walmart, let's see, so we can save 12% at Walmart. It's some of the highest I've ever seen on a card bear. You can see, you can track over time the best discount. So you can see that's honestly some of the best we've ever had. So that's a uh, very nice. It makes sourcing a lot easier. Let's see. So the most expensive one on here. And then also a lot of these have zero ratings. So a good way to just to make sure that we're looking at a specific variation that actually sells is to go greater than or equals. Let's just say like it has like at least three reviews. And honestly, none of these have three reviews. So let's see. Do any of these have like at least a recent review? Let's see, filter by top ratings. So this one has a recent review, but it's 16 bucks. Yes, not the fastest seller there. Keep on chugging. See this, we need it for 10 bucks. What's that showing up at? Like 22. Yeah, it's just easy. You just hit the Google button, do a little bit of a experimenting, see what you can find. Let's see. So wild chair, if we can get these for five bucks a bag, these might be good because our max cost is around 10 bucks and we might actually have that. Let's see. So these are 448 per bag. They're actually in stock too. I was worried they might be out of stock. Let's see. So 448 a bag. These are selling for 23 bucks. And so 448 times two. And we can also make these more profitable. Remember, we can buy these with discounted gift cards so with a 12% discount there. So minus 12%. This is a $4.50 profit in grocery, which is always pretty good as well. Make sure it's the same thing. Sharing size, wild cherry. Yeah, it looks good to me. This is pretty good too, because it's a grocery item. So we're not going to have to worry about any returns, anything like that. Like we're truly going to make that profit on every sale here. And let's see how fast it sells. So one thing I like to check, especially since this is a faster selling listing is the keep a offers tab. And then I'll go down here and include historical sellers. And then you can sort by the amount of sales in the last 30 days. So I'm able to just quickly see, especially on things like this, you can see like they charged anywhere from like 28 to 24 bucks. And you can see how fast they were actually selling that item. So they sold at 24 in stock. And then a few days later, they had nine, the same kind of things going on here. And it's all also at the prices that we actually want to sell this item to. So it's good proof that people actually pay that price. Let's see. Yeah. So this seller was FBA and they were selling for like 25 bucks, 24 bucks. Yeah. So this actually looks like it moves pretty well based on the fact that I'm seeing several people selling multiple a day. I'd honestly probably pick up about 20 to 30 units of this. So 40 to 60 bags, and then we'll make our two pack. We'll throw it down in a poly bag and put an FN SKU label on it, get it shipped out to Amazon there. So just on the low end, let's say we're going to pick up 25 of these right here at, at $4 profit. Say the profit goes down a little bit as well. Also, this is including shipping, sales tax, all that kind of stuff in the fees. So yeah, it's already all baked in if you guys are were wondering about that as well. So just for the sake of adding to the running total here, let's say four bucks times 25 units right there. That's another hundred bucks in profit that we just made there. So that's it right there. There's 200 bucks in profit. 
So now that we have several profitable products to sell on Amazon, the next step is to start listing and shipping those products into Amazon using Boxum. It makes it really simple to track your profit. It helps you get those items actually checked in at Amazon a little bit faster if you use 2D barcodes as well. But if you want to see the rest of the process on that, just go ahead and check out a Boxum shipment guide on YouTube as well. And then you can also grab a two-week free trial of Boxum down below. So between those three tools we talked about, that's all you're going to need to start making some money on Amazon. If you're just getting started in the Amazon game, I'll also leave a link down below for a completely free Amazon course that I made for you. Six downloadable files, three hours of content, and a free community of over 55,000 Amazon sellers. So check that out if you're brand new and you want to scale quickly. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that. Hit that subscribe button as well if you want to help me out for free for helping you guys out today. But I really appreciate you watching this video. And if you want to see me source even more profitable products, go ahead and click this video right here.